<clears throat> Alright everybody, so uh, I've gone ahead and wired up all of the uh, transformers, well to the power transformer and the heater wires to all the tubes. Um, and I uh, did a little test run just to see if everything, you know, was working and it appears like we are in business. So I was just going to kick on the heater wires and uh, test them so that you can see what's going on. Got to make sure that you have all of your leads taken care of to do this. Since the amp isn't finished, uh, you know, you don't want something touching the chassis that shouldn't be. All the grounds for the transformers are connected. Nothing else is hooked up, though, so it's just pretty much the heaters going to all the tubes. Um, this is the bias supply line, which I have taped off. Um, and then this is one of the other taps you can use for 120 volt power uh, on the Weber transformer. When I did that, out of the wall I was getting about 123. So when I hooked this one up, I actually found out that my uh, power coming out of the secondary of the transformer was a little bit higher than it should have been. So I switched to this blue one, which is the 125 volt, and that brought things down into the ranges where they should be. So if you find that you're getting too much power, and this transformer is one of the most common ones, from Weber. It's used in like tons of their kits, like the twin reverb ones and all the bigger 60s fenders. So if you have this one and you find that you're getting about 123 volts uh, out of the outlet, you might want to try using the blue wire. So anyways, I'm going to actually uh, turn off the lights so you can see the tubes kick on. Hello. Alright, so the amp is in standby. The other side of the standby switch isn't hooked up to anything, so that isn't of much consequence. And this has a fake grounding switch, which doesn't matter. So go ahead and kick them on here. So you can see the uh, lamp indicator came on. And I think there might actually be too much light from my monitor for you to be able to see the tubes here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see them. Maybe right here a little bit? Anyway, but they're working and they're on. So, uh, for this one, I think the uh, secondaries were supposed to be about, like, uh, see there's a good way where I can angle this where you can see it. Can you see that number there? There we go. That should be reading all zeros right now for AC power. <laughs> oh, this is tangled there. Maybe this will work. Maybe not. I didn't plan ahead. Always plan ahead. So, if I don't pull this again, if I go from ground to one of the mains, I can't see it. It looks like it says about like 360. And this is supposed to be uh, about 720 across both sides without the center tap. So if I do that, should be getting about 720. I can't see it from here. But I was getting like 780, 790. Um, so obviously that's way too high. And then uh, for the filaments, it should be reading, I think, like 6.1 or 6.2. So going to center tap, it should be about 3. Maybe I set that way too high. Turn it down to the 200 range. And uh, you should be seeing about like 3. 3.1, 3.2. So that's all looking good. I mean, that's well within, you know, 10 or 20 percent of those uh, figures. Although, I might be lying because I can't see the multimeter <laughs> from here. So it looks like everything has given me um, the correct uh, voltages there. I haven't uh, checked the bias supply because I don't really want to touch it while it's free. Just too many things that could go wrong. But uh, that's just a quick way to check and make sure your heaters are all working. And, uh, you know, make sure you turn everything off and unplug it when you're done.